supporters of the movement, the Democratic Change Alliance, um, and for all Zimbabweans, it's been a really hectic week, so I just thought I'd check in with you on three key issues. The first one is about the attack on our freedoms. Um, as we all know, there has been um, the violent invasion on Harvest House, um, which is the headquarters of our political party. Um, this uh, attack is unprecedented and it unmasks any illusion that you know the fight by Madame Kupe and Douglas Wanzora had anything to do with constitutionalism and obeying court orders. Um, we know that the only people who've got control over the army, soldiers and security forces are Zahn Pierre. So by the time you see the army besieging a building and fighting a political party, we know who's in control. So now that illusion uh, is absolutely clear for anyone to see. But not to worry, that fight will be fought politically because political power resides with the people. The mandate to govern comes from the people and we will continue uh, to hold sacred the votes that 2.6 million people proposed in the alliance uh, as led by President Chamisa. The second thing that I wish to talk about um, relates to the importance of parliamentary processes. Now we've heard you, as you probably know, the Standing Committee made a resolution after the initial recall of four of our MPs. The overwhelming feedback that we got from the people is that people find parliamentary processes important. They find it key. And so we're going to continue, recommence, uh, and go back to Parliament and to continue to hold the government to account. The final issue relates to our resolve and the strengthening of that resolve. Now, as you know, this week we've seen the arrest of Advocate Tabani Mpofu, the arrest of our Youth Assembly Chairperson Obesi Tole, today the arrest of uh, Tendai BT, Vice President Kore, Gladys Klatchwayo, several leaders in the Standing Committee for very flimsy, unsupported charges that are completely coordinated but completely unsubstantiated. It's a threat against all progressive, pro-democratic forces. It's an attempt by the state to diminish the resolve of those who fight for democracy in this country and the affiliates of the party. Our commitment to you as Zimbabweans as we continue to champion the fight for a better Zimbabwe is that we will not tire in our fight for a Zimbabwe that's got freedom, that's got fairness, and that's got opportunity. A Zimbabwe where everybody has got space to aspire and to dream. The attempt to continue to shackle those freedoms is not going to hold us back. We're going to continue to fight, and all of this will be fought politically to ensure that we win Zimbabwe for change.